YouTube. Um, another Nerf video. Um, this is a video, as you probably know from the title, about a homemade. Now, see, I don't think you can see it right now. You might be able to. Um, Cooksy9 told you I wanted to build one. Yeah. Anyways, um, I'll sh go ahead and show it to you. Um, it is a pump snap. Um, I think it's a, considered a 2.0, but, um, just follow Nerfomania's, um, uh, tutorial on, on his write-up on Nerf Revolution. Um, so... It's got a night finder handle and a maverick cocking mechanism. This is a broken maverick cocking mechanism, so it didn't help me anymore. And this was from a night finder that didn't have any internals, so didn't have to lose anything there. The handle is, of course, screwed in. It kept ripping off when I didn't screw it in, so I screwed that on. Um, I haven't figured out a way to screw the cocking handle on, so right now it's just glued. Um, it's got a bolt right here and the slotted CPVC plunger rod. Really hard for me to cock, but, oh well. Um, it's got a PVC and CPVC coupler thing in the front right here. <coughs> the bushing is screwed in with four screws. The spring stop has three screws in it since I ran out of screws, but then it has a one and a half inch by one and a half inch metal bracket with craft foam and e-tape around it for the trigger. <coughs> um, so that's craft foam right here going over the screw that's holding the night finder together because that was kind of painful on the hand. So I switched that with this, the craft foam, put the craft foam over it. So. Um, as a stock, it's just got a one and a quarter inch T with some one and a quarter inch PVC down here. Um, I didn't want to cut it like Nerfomania does, because for me that's where my shoulder goes on this thing. So, um, yeah, it's got a spring, an extra spring to go with the clothespin spring. So it's got some little more power, but the main reason it's there is so that the pin doesn't come all the way out and get stuck. So, yeah. The handle is painted, the yellow part is painted black to match the black on this part, and then it's still gray here. So, and then the Maverick slide is not painted at all. Um, it's been a while since I've made a video. Per to be precise, I believe it's been a week. But... Yeah, prime it. Um, I think I'm probably gonna be doing all of my, all of the videos about blasters like this in front of my work table, cause yeah, it's easier that way. Um, let's see, what else? Um, yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and shoot it for you. I don't have a hopper with this, like so. Do this, and then I'm gonna fire up my target here. Um, I just go went and shot it outside. Um, it looked it looked to be go shooting about a hundred feet flat. So really comfy. I love this thing. If you want me to build you one, I would build you one for sixty dollars. Nerfomania charges a hundred uh, charges a hundred and twenty. So I'd build you one for sixty. Um, this uses a K twenty six spring. So yeah, not the best quality, but. I mean, 
gets really good ranges, and overall wasn't that hard to build. So, I've spent the last three days working on this almost non-stop, but, yeah, that was only because I, this is the first, pretty much the first homemade I've really built. I've built the snap carbine, which this one is in pieces right now. This is the one I was building righty, so you'd prime it like this, but, yeah. That's really the only homemade I've ever built. So yeah, this was pretty much the first one I've ever built. Yeah. So, yeah. You might see my epic long shot in the back. That is in pieces right now. So, yeah. I'll probably put that back together right after this video. Yeah. Maybe not. Anyways, yeah, by the time you are seeing this, I'll probably have that put back together. Yeah. Anyways.